So for this week's Why Do I Need That? I thought I'd give you 10 reasons why you might want to trade in your iPhone for a Google Pixel. It's Googly, it's, it's Pixely, Pixel it's Google Pixel. So let's jump straight in. Reason number one, you want a better camera. Supposedly the Google Pixel has the best smartphone camera ever. Like ever as rated by DxO Mark. You know, th those people that we're, we're all we're all totally familiar with. So trading your iPhone for a Google Pixel will up your selfie game immensely, capturing all those extra fine little details. Reason number two, app badges stress you out. You know those little red blobs that show next to the app icons to tell you how many new things have happened? Like how many texts you've got or how many emails you've not bothered to read? Well, if those stress you out, then you should switch to the Pixel. Because on the Pixel, you can't have them at all. Not even if you want them. So if iPhone life is all becoming a bit too much, then switching to the Pixel will take you to a zen world of blissful notification ignorance. Oh, I have achieved true focus by ignoring all my friends. Um... Reason number three, the fingerprint scanner. Instead of on the iPhone where it's on the front, on the Pixel, the fingerprint scanner is on the back. So not only is it in a more natural place for unlocking your phone when you take it out of your pocket, but because it's kind of hidden, you can do magic tricks with it and amaze your friends. So when I go ahead and make this gesture, it just unlocks itself. You see? See what, see what I've done there? Yeah, it's a uh, new technology. It's great, huh? Reason number four, Google Assistant. If you don't have any real friends and your relationship with Siri has gone a bit sour. Hey Siri. Do you love me? Let's just say you have my utmost admiration. That's it? I was faking all my emojis with you anyway, I hate you. Then you should try Google Assistant, which is built right into the home button on the Pixel. With Google Assistant, you can play games. Welcome to Are You Feeling Lucky? I am. The game show that you can play in your pajamas. I am. <laughs> Oh, that was a joke. Relieve boredom by getting it to recite you a poem. I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice. You read so beautifully. And you can translate things directly into other languages without having to just search the web or open Google Translate. It does it directly within Google Assistant. How do you say that hole is not designed for a fist to go in in Japanese? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Try doing that with Siri. I did. And you can't. Reason number five, you want a fresh start. If you've had an iPhone for years and you've got too many apps and games and photos and contacts just clogging up your storage, then why not switch to the Pixel? In spite of the fact they even give you a special adapter to transfer all the stuff over from your iPhone to the Pixel and they make a big deal about it in the publicity, I tried to do it three times, each time taking about an hour and a bit, and in each case it transferred basically nothing. So essentially, if you want to forget all those old text messages from your ex and repopulate your entire music library from scratch, then switch across to the Pixel and use it as a way to start afresh and reinvent yourself. I shall no longer be Alistair. I shall now call myself Enriquio. I'll find new friends and I'll listen exclusively to acid jazz. Yes, this feels... This feels right. Reason number six. You want the latest tech, but you also want a headphone jack. Hey Jack, you want a headphone? Yeah Frank, I sure do. Okay, I got you covered. The latest iPhone, the iPhone 7, doesn't have a headphone jack. The Google Pixel does. So if you're not ready for Bluetooth headphones and you always want the latest tech, then go with the Pixel. Reason number seven for sensuality. If, like me, you enjoy the slightly tickly feeling of typing with the haptic feedback setting turned on, <laughs> Then again, switch to the Pixel. Should make it like a sort of 80s rap song. You wanna do this? Switch to the Pixel. Wanna do that? You switch to the Pixel. Typing was a more enjoyable experience on the Pixel than it is on my iPhone and was more accurate too. So if you wanna get all of the feels every time you type, then switch to the Pixel. What? I'm not scraping the bottom of the barrel with these reasons just to get to 10. You shut up. Reason number eight for exercise. If you're trying to burn every last calorie during your day, then you're gonna want the Pixel. It's bigger and heavier than my iPhone 6, so you can use it to integrate more exercise and reps into your average day. Hello. Ugh. 
Hello. Oof. Hello. Feel that burn. Hello. And you can use it to stretch your hand muscles too. Since there's no double tap on the fingerprint scanner to bring things closer to you as you have on the iPhone, if you want to reach things in that top corner, you're gonna have to stretch for it. Ah, gotcha. All right, that's, that's enough exercise for one week. Reason number nine, the Pixel will eventually come in blue. Right now it's only available in black and white in the UK, but blue will eventually make its way over from the US. The iPhone doesn't come in blue, and blue is a cool color. So there's that. All right, we're at number nine. I might have been running out of ideas a little bit at this point. And finally, reason number 10, why you should switch from your iPhone to the Google Pixel is if you hate Apple and everything they stand for. If you can't even look at an apple, even the fruit, without getting angry for some reason, you're overpriced and you can't be customized enough and you're not open source and you slow down app development, then why not move over to the Google Pixel? It's one of the best Android phones you can get and in my opinion, it's as good as an iPhone. And while I've taken the piss most of the way through this video, that is actually probably the most compelling reason to get a Google Pixel because it's as good as an iPhone. And don't get me wrong, being as good as an iPhone is not something to be sniffed at. Google have done a great job with their first self-produced phone and to have that level of iPhone similarly goodness straight out the gate is, is great. But in spite of all of the many very compelling reasons that I've listed in this video, I won't be moving across from my iPhone 6 because the Google Pixel is as good as my iPhone. And because I don't really care about having a much better camera than I already have, then really I'd just be adding extra time and stress to my life by trying to transfer everything across bit by bit. And I'd lose the iCloud linkage that I have with all my other Apple products like my MacBook and my iPad. There's just no need. So I'm gonna stick with my iPhone 6. And for the same reasons, I won't be upgrading to the iPhone 7 either. It just doesn't offer me enough extra benefit to make the change worthwhile. So there you go, 10 reasons why you might want to switch from your iPhone to a Google Pixel, and one main reason why I won't be. Leave a comment telling me what you think of the Pixel if you've tried it out, and if you've made the switch, how have you found it? Subscribe to my channel for more alternative gadget reviews like this one, and I'll see you next time. How do you say goodbye in Portuguese? Ciao. Oh, that was disappointing. Bye!